The world would have us believe that to be a good team player, you need to listen, actively participate, and show commitment to an overall goal. But maths doesn't necessarily agree, because there are times when we all operate together as a team without even knowing that that's what we're doing. Now, if you take this jar of sweets, for example, which I posted a picture of on Twitter, I could ask you to guess how many sweets were in the jar. Some of you might come up with very good answers, some not necessarily quite so good. But if I took the average of all of your answers, what I would find is that the answer that you all gave together on average would be astonishingly accurate. Now this idea is known as the wisdom of the crowds and says that the number of people who overestimate tends to balance out the number of people who underestimate, giving a really astonishingly accurate answer that none of you could have come up with individually. Now this kind of goes to show that sometimes many wrongs can make a right, but many wrongs can also make a bigger wrong, as you'll know, if you've ever driven down the motorway and found yourself stuck in a traffic jam for apparently no reason. Now, if you imagine a car driving along at uh, 72 miles an hour, it will catch up to one in front driving at 68 miles an hour, and it will just have to brake ever so slightly. Now, this may not seem like a big deal, but what will happen is the car behind that will then catch up much quicker and have to brake again, so that backwards through the field of traffic, you'll have people braking and accelerating, braking and accelerating. And this is what causes these, these seemingly unexplainable traffic jams that you see on motorways. Now, this accumulation of errors is what's known as the avalanche effect. And it's the reason why we have stock market crashes and petrol crises and runs on banks. Everybody working together to unintentionally orchestrate a disaster. But it can also be exploited to have amazing results. And as ever, nature gives us one of the best examples of this. Now, if you imagine a, a school of fish, now, there are several evolutionary examples as to why uh, this is an effective way to avoid a predator. So it confuses the predator. Um, the school has many eyes, so it can see a predator coming from more directions. And of course, there's safety in numbers. Now, by watching this school of fish, you could be forgiven for thinking that they were operating under the directions of a single leader. But actually, something far more interesting is going on. These incredible shapes and patterns are just created by two very simple rules between the fish. One, don't swim into other fish. And two, swim at the same speed and direction as your neighbours. Now, just these very simple interactions between neighbouring fish mean that every fish is both influencing and being influenced by all other fish, performing together to create one giant predator-avoiding team. And in maths, this is what's known as an emergent system. But this beast, this, this moving and evolving and deforming beast, has a set of rules that has been exploited by people in our human world, and most notably by Pep Guardiola's 2008-2012 Ticker Tacker Barcelona football team. Now, to uh, hugely oversimplify all footballing strategies into one sentence, general rule of thumb is 4 4 or thereabouts, Stay in your lines, every player's got a, a well-defined position on the team and push forward wherever possible. Now Barcelona were different because the way that they set up their team was to just think about rules of interactions between neighbouring players. So to break it down, there are three very simple rules. The first is to make triangles. Whenever a Barcelona player has possession of the ball, his neighbouring teammates will move themselves into a position to create a triangle so that there are directly two passing opportunities at any time. Meanwhile, the rest of the team will think two, three, four passes ahead and create these triangles all along the pitch. Now, the second rule is to pass and be patient. Regardless of how good your opposition is, if you're willing to just keep on passing the ball in these triangles, eventually the other team are going to move around you and create a space and a gap that you can exploit. And the third rule, the most famous one, is the six second rule. Should Barcelona ever lose possession of the ball, the entire team will run towards the opposition player all at the same time and press him for six seconds. Now, aside from being totally terrified that the entire Barcelona team is running at you, presumably the other opposition player uh, has very little passing choice as they've narrowed the field of play, leaving him very little option other than to boot the ball as far away as he can, often giving Barcelona a really good chance to regain possession. And just these very simple rules, these three very simple rules between neighbours and create this incredibly fluid and, and beautiful football style for which they've become famous. 
exploiting the maths of emergent systems to create one of the best teams in the world. Now, if all this talk about football has uh, kick-started your interest and you're not already subscribing, you can think about subscribing with this link here.